guys, it's Talisha, and let's just point out the elephant in my room, which is my eye. Yeah. Got something stuck in it yesterday, and that's what it looks like today. Super swollen, but it's alright. We're going to Sydney dressage, we're not going to let it ruin our day. I tried to put makeup on to draw away from it, which I think worked a little bit, but it is actually looking a little bit better since I woke up, which is good. Anyway, Sydney dressage today. I'm going to go get Bambi. Float is hooked up because I did it the night before. I've got everything in the car. Now we just need to go get Bambi. We got such crazy rain here last night. Apparently we got 60 mils within an hour. Um, Ned looks wet. Everything else looks wet. Ned can choose to go in a stable or not. And he obviously chose not. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to get the net out first. It's actually not as wet down here as I thought it would be. Go out, Ned. Don't splash me. Good boy. Oh, that, that is a bit wet there, but as I said, not as bad as I thought it would be. Try not to get dirty. <laughs> Let's go! acknowledge this stunning videography from Ava who is her got photography I will have all of her links in my description if you guys would like to check her out so here we have the 3a Bambi was very very resistant on this left rein in the warm-up as you can see so I wanted to do that do just my left shoulder in down the long side just to kind of get her in that outside rein and kind of give a little bit which she did in the end. Um, we had rain the whole entire warm up, which was not ideal. Bambi was not a big fan of the rain, kind of tossing her head around a little bit because she doesn't like the rain in her ears. <laughs> She's a bit of a princess. Luckily, it stopped in time for our actual test. So yes, this is the 3A. Um, last time we did this test, we had a massive vertical rear and this that was also at SIAC, funnily enough. I do talk about a lot of my competitions that haven't been posted on my YouTube at the end of this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. There we have our length and rain. I just love, love this quality. I'm so sorry, I'm just obsessed. The second test is just filmed on my iPhone um, as Ava was not able to stay the whole day because there was a massive gap between tests and she had more photography work to do. But anyway, we'll just appreciate it for the warm up and for this test. And then we have our first shoulder in. Um, then we go across the diagonal, not the diagonal, sorry, the middle of the arena, and we have the other shoulder in, which she was a bit better of 
like in the test and she was going down the long side before the test but still just a little bit resistant in that outside rain but this is her weaker side here we have the rain back um could have been a square halt and it she just hollowed out a little bit put her head up um that's okay here we have our medium walk the connection is getting a lot better still needs a lot of work um, but here we have our long rain walk, which she always does quite well at. She has a really, really natural, big, free-flowing walk. Uh, could have had a bit more stretch, but pretty happy with that. She's trying. She had also never been in this arena before, so I was really happy with how she handled herself as it's quite different to the other arenas at SIAC and pretty big atmosphere with a lot going on. Here we have our first walk to Cantar. Um, the transition itself was good, the walk up to it, obviously connection, but that's a working progress that we're working at. Uh, length and can, I could have showed a bit more length in, but happy with the quality of canter itself. This 10 meter circle was far too big. Um, I kind of lost her hindquarters, went in a little bit too fast, tried to fix it. She ended up hollowing her back out a little bit through that just because we just were, I didn't have her sitting quite far enough back on her hind end. Here, unfortunately, we had a flying change. <laughs> but I was very, very proud of her because we've had this happen before when she's thrown in a flying change across the diagonal and I have not been able to get her back and she just gets a bit overwhelmed and she explodes. But that didn't happen. She listened to me straight away and came straight back. So I was very, very proud of her. That was the only like mishap we had in this test. That is where she reared the previous time we did this test and that is the side she typically rears on because that is her weaker side and she did it. I was very happy. It wasn't clean. I didn't care. She did it. We didn't have a rear. That was all I wanted. Again, probably should have sh could have shown a little bit more length in. I should have had her a bit more collected on this 10 meter circle. However, it was 10 meters, which was good. Sorry. <laughs> it was 10 meters, which was good little bit above the bit there. This is her weaker side in the counter canter, but she did it really nicely. Really nice to Edwin's transition. And here we have our medium walk to our final walk to canter. I'm very proud of how she is coming along with the walk. It's still a big working progress. That wasn't as nice as her first one on that side, but that's okay. She collected herself nicely straight after and this is quite a nice canter. Head was a little bit all over the place, but it's okay. Trot is her strong point at the moment. Her trot work has just really come together, which also makes her canter look even weaker than it is. But gosh, this horse's trot has improved immensely over the last couple months. The connection has just really, really come through nicely. So um, still working through this rain in particular. This is just the rain she gets a bit resistant on, but Overall, I was very, very happy with her in this test. A massive improvement from the last six to eight months of disasters we've had at competitions. We made it through the test and I was over the moon. I was very, very happy with her. That was one test down, one more to get through <laughs> and hope that we make it through. This was a very big competition for me um, with a lot of emotions throwing, um, sorry, going through me, but we will cover that a bit later on at the end of the test. And we came second in that test, which was amazing. Second in the opens. Yum. Oh. <laughs> now here we have the 3B. Uh, listen, we won the warm up. I came out of this test and said, look, we didn't have any disasters. We didn't have a rear. We didn't have a carry on or a tantrum. And we won the warm up. And my boyfriend's like, what do you mean you won the warm up? And I was, I was saying, that is the best warm up I've ever had on this horse. The way I had her warming up for this test, oh, she was scared of this corner, by the way. I'm not sure why. That was why there was a bit of a hesitation here and she tried to kind of canter off. Apparently there was a ghost in that corner, but she was fine. Uh, this shoulder in was a bit inconsistent. Sorry, half 10 meter circle, then another half 10 meter circle. But yes, the warm up felt incredible. I had the trot that I have at home in the warm up, didn't carry through to the test, but I know I can get it at a competition now. Now I just need to get it in the arena too, but I was over the moon. I just had her exactly where I wanted her in the warm up. Um, that was a Trevair. 
here we are coming on for the next shoulder in yeah the trot that we had in the warm-up definitely didn't come through the competition it wasn't quite as inspiring in the arena um, as it was in the warm-up but that's fine that shoulder in was a much better so was that 10 meter circle a little bit of resistance there um, then on to our next travers. This one was really nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just needs a little bit more through the bridle. And then we come up for our lengthen across the diagonal. I believe this was quite nice. Yep. Nice lengthen of stride. Could have shown a little bit more but I played it safe. <laughs> um, we had a trip there. That's what that was, by the way. And then we have our rain back. Could have stopped a little bit longer. Wasn't quite square. We need a lot of work on the rain backs. The steps themselves in the rain backs are very, very good. Um, and they're very clear. However, we are marked down because of our halt and the moment before we rain back. But that's fine. We, will, well, we are working on that. This is our long and low, um, well our free walk, sorry I should say. I can't see it. I do remember it not being as nice as the other test. Um, I believe though one judge scored us an eight for this. Uh, or maybe that was the other test. I don't know, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm just trying to, this is another te test where about after these walk pirouettes is where she typically goes up. So she starts to get a little bit tense because she's anticipating, but we got a nice, nice steps there just above the bit. Unfortunately, she does the steps in these really good, but it's just keeping that, um, consistency through her connection. So here I was doing a lot of well, I, I explained what I now do in these situations, but really talking through her, trying to give her a little scratch on the outside shoulder. Above the bit, don't care. She did it. She didn't have a tantrum. She didn't go up. She didn't do anything wrong. So I don't. I, I was not going for clean. I was going for um, relaxed <laughs> and actually, well, not disobedient, as they say and as the judges would say. Um... That was completely off the marker, but it was average. She did it. Again, connection, connection. The whole the whole thing with this horse is connection, connection, connection. Unfortunately, it's just something that doesn't come quite easy with her, but she's doing the steps nicely. The transitions look nice. We just need to get her that little bit more through in the canter. The trot work is pretty good. It's still not quite where I want it to be for this level, but... I am happy with it and it just it really makes the canter look a lot worse now that her trot has gotten that bit more consistent. Again above the bit there but she listened quite nicely and the final walk to canter and I got through it. No tantrums, no, he just saw me pat her on the shoulder there because me being like oh my god it's been six to eight months since we've had gotten through a competition without a tantrum or a rear and by now I was nearly in tears because of how happy I was <laughs> I did it this is all I was com coming for to get through two tests without a tantrum or a rear and I did it that's all I wanted I didn't care about the score didn't care about the place I was over the moon that last can of work was a lot nicer that's her strong side um, as you can tell because that was a lot nicer now we have the lengthen up the center line into a collected canter then halt and she did this really well as well I was very happy with her very very happy with her halt right in front of the judge nice square halt fixed <laughs> over the moon absolutely over the moon for her and we came third in that one too Watch time for Bambi very good girl I'm glad the rain helped off that test. Tried very hard. Okay, so it is a day later because obviously, me being me, forgot to end the vlog yesterday. But I just wanted to do a proper ending to this vlog because this competition meant so much to me. So 
I would have mentioned it a little bit in my voiceovers, but but I've kind of stepped back a bit from social media, as you guys have probably realized the last couple of months, especially YouTube. Now, the reason for this was purely because I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to be going a certain way. Um, and I had lost a lot of love for the sport due to the issues I was having with Bambi at competitions. You have seen a couple of the videos where Bambi has her mishaps when she rears in tests and things like that. You've seen a couple of them, but there are also a few shows that I've done over the past six months that I have not posted because I'm, I've always been very, very honest, as you guys all know, on social media. But this, for me, got very overwhelming. And I was battling through my own mindset and I just didn't want to put everything up on social media for everyone else to also comment and possibly get into my head and make me think more negatively about the situation and myself. I have been working closely with my coach and the issues seem to have been resolved. I don't believe this was a fluke of a competition. The problems we were having were very much, we worked, we worked everything out, worked out where the issue came from and just really learnt a lot more about my horse in particular. I mean, I've always been told from the coaches I've had from when I first bought Bambi that Bambi's not an easy horse, but I did not look at her as a difficult horse either. Um, and it's only recently that I've realised how tricky she is. And I'm not, tr I'm not saying this because I'm trying to say how amazing I am because I work with a really difficult horse or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I am just being completely honest with you guys. See, so the thing is with Bambi is she's quiet and anyone, I believe, anyone could hop on and ride Bambi. I would put beginners on her. She is quiet. She has a good nature. If you just wanted to walk trot canner, anyone could do it on her. But the thing is with her is getting her to go correctly and to perform at the level we are currently performing is not easy and has not been easy. And it's only recently that I've finally actually listened to everyone around me when they've constantly said, she is not easy, she's not easy, that I've realised that, hey, she she is tricky, she's sensitive, and she is very reactive when she doesn't like something. So w with working with my coach, Ali Sostar, for months, we were both at a bit of an end, which was very, very difficult because we both were kind of lost for what to do with her. We would get to the walk to canters in the elementaries and she would just go up. She didn't do this at home. It just typically had happened at competitions. And working through exercises and things like that, we finally worked out what her problem was. And it was the inside rain. So I have now been riding her in the canter very differently. I virtually throw away my inside rain completely. And it makes sense why in competitions she reacts because naturally in competition environments I'm a little bit tense as well. So me, so I'm always going to be a little bit more tense and stronger with my inside aids and my outside, all of my aids, just because like I don't go in thinking I'm nervous, but it's just it's only natural. Especially as this started to happen more and more, I was expecting things to go wrong and I was expect and I, it, it always happened at the same time in the tests and I was like it's coming up so then I start to think about it my whole body tenses up I kind of throw away my position and how I'm riding and just hope that she doesn't go up what I changed was literally just not touching the inside rein just having it slightly open so she has that slight bend but just not touching it at all and my coach as well said that it there are a few horses that are like that and that just I get really, really offended if you are, when you are on the inside rein. Some just, you can't touch it at all. And she's fine going around walk, trot, canter normally, but just the transition from walk to canter, if I have any contact on that inside rein, she just reacts and she just, her reaction is to go up and she goes high. Um, and then normally a bit after the test it's kind of like we're both trying to get each other back and get into the rhythm of things so we blow a few more moves but all of our training had been going on real at home so i was so i was just itching to get out and when we got to the competition and it worked this is the first competition in over six months about six to eight months since we have not had a rear and that just means the world to me i i'm being very open with you guys now, I got to a stage where I 
was about this close of just giving up and I was even toying with the idea of selling her because I was convinced that I was not going to be able to get over this. I had been in contact with people who could possibly ride her. I wanted a professional to ride her to see if they could have any more luck with her. But unfortunately in my area, everyone was too busy or booked. They were either booked up or not taking any more horses. I mean, same thing. So I was really at an ends meet. My coach doesn't ride anymore. Um, she just coaches. So I was really at an ends. I was like, I have no one that'll get on. Like, I don't have a professional that'll get on my horse for me. And work with her so it was really just me and my coach and I the very previous comp for this which was also at SIAC I left that competition bawling my eyes out saying that I don't enjoy the sport anymore I am because I lost the enjoyment for it all together the training wasn't going well either nothing was going well and it would turn into a chore for me and I was very very close to selling her um, I was even looking at the horse market, trying to work out what I could get for her. And I kind of told myself that if I have one more competition like that, that I'm, I'm selling. I don't do this. I don't ride dressage because I want to go to the Olympics. I do it for fun. It's my hobby. And I wanted to be loving it. And I wasn't. And then after that competition, I really opened up to my coach and we finally like worked something out in training and things just started improving so much in training. I found a trot that I had never ever felt on any horse before in Bambi. Felt incredible and that just kept improving and improving. Her trot was so solid that it made her canter feel worse but we played around with different exercises. This is the thing with Bambi. It's not like you try one thing and it works. It's like you go through about five to ten different techniques exercises and then you come across one that works she is very very particular and she has taught me a lot she is the hardest horse the most the trickiest horse i have had to train and deal with but she is the most rewarding because when something clicks in her head it it's there you've got her it's she'll never forget it and she's kind and she wants to please it's just she is very, very, very tricky. And even my coach was saying when we were trying to work out what riders would be good for her, she was also picky about who I was looking at because she said she's not a horse that will work with a lot of people. She is not a horse that just any professional will be able to get on and, you know, get to go nicely because she just takes that certain type of rider. And again, I'm not trying to hype myself up. This is – I'm just being honest. This is me – openly telling you guys what I've been through the past six months with her but yeah so her training just started getting better and better and better and I was I found the love for training again so I was like if we don't compete again if competitions don't go right it doesn't matter I just won't compete I'm enjoying riding my horse every day and that's that's enough for me if the competitions don't go well who cares we can train and have fun at home so things started just going really well. Her canter started getting stronger. We've tried to, we've found new little things with her canter to get it better. It still needs a lot of work, but yeah. And then I did this competition and she even had one of the moments where I felt her tense up. Her, she shortened her strides and I felt like she was going to go up. She did exactly what she, and normally when she does that, there's no convincing her otherwise. She just goes up. It doesn't matter what you do. But I immediately thought to myself, Talisha, relax, shoulders back, because I have a terrible habit of looking down and searching my shoulders. And I just thought, shoulders back, and just throw the inside run away. Just throw it away. And she, I felt her body just go, and then she did a beautiful walk to Cannes. And that was probably the best walk to Cannes she had done all day. Now, in that moment as well, in my head, I was like, I now know as well that I can diffuse the situation. I have not been able to diffuse the situation before this comp because normally she gets the short steps her back um hollows and she you just can't get her back you can't get her back oh and the other thing I did was I just scratch her with, scratched her with my outside hand and then that I diffused it which was an unreal accomplishment <laughs> um but yeah so I mean I'm itching to get out to another comp but that's not going to happen this year we have even more exciting things which you guys can stay tuned for um i'm not gonna say too much on it yet but very exciting rest of the year for bambi and i and yeah i mean it was a great note to end it on for the year i i know it wasn't a fluke because i know my horse and 
I don't have flukes on that horse either. <laughs> There's no such thing as a fluke on Bambi, though, trust me. But I am very, I just want to have a moment as well to say how proud I am of myself because I've never hit such a wall ever in riding and I was emotional, an emotional wreck and I doubted myself so much as a rider. I have never been through something where I've felt like I needed to get someone else to ride my horse and because I felt like I wasn't good enough for her and I felt I wasn't doing her justice and it was, I wasn't going to get past it without someone else riding her. And I'm just proud that I was able to get through it and do it on my own with the help of my coach on the ground, of course, but without someone on my horse doing it for me um, and getting her through these anticipation and the, the like, th it's been six months that we've been having these issues for. So I didn't think it would go away just from me changing, making such a big change. It was a big change, but I didn't think it would have worked as well as it did, to be honest. But I'm just proud that I didn't give up and I kept persevering because it really paid off in the end and I feel like we're on to something and I finally after this competition I finally sat down and I was like I'm doing something right I'm doing something right what we are doing it's working it's working it's finally working <laughs> so yeah um I'm sorry that I didn't show all of the downs on social media I was as you guys would have known I was for a while you saw those comps but then I got to a stage where I I was too emotional and too distraught about it that I didn't want to risk the keyboard warriors coming up, coming on and telling me that I'm a terrible rider and my horse deserves better because it's all me or whatever, or my horse is sore or it's this. Like when I knew that there was nothing wrong with her physically in her body, I, I knew that. I, I knew that. <laughs> and I made sure I went through, like I looked at that as well. Um, because I was at such an end, but I didn't want people just coming on, typing on their keyboard and telling me what they thought was wrong with my horse or what they thought was wrong with what I was doing. Um, I believe enough in my coach and the health care professionals I have around me and my horses that they were all I needed and case proven, they were. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there'll be some really, really exciting vlogs to come for the rest of the year. I am still competing myself. I have a lot of shows with client ponies and things like that in the up until mid-November. So I'm pretty much booked out for a show every single weekend from now on. But Bambi competition-wise is done for the year. Um, but I will try vlog some of those shows for you guys. I'm sure you guys will be interested to see me go out with some client ponies. So um I'll try vlog those for you and yeah um it felt good just finally telling you all everything and the issues I've been having with her because it was really taking a toll on me and I wanted to get on and tell everyone but I just didn't I didn't need extra extra thoughts going on in my head I was already beating myself up enough um and feeling like I wasn't good enough so I didn't need more of that I just Kept it between me, my close friends and family, and I, they were really supportive through it all. They were supporting me whatever choice I made, whether I was going to keep going or whether I was going to sell Bambi and move on. They were very supportive through whatever decision I made, but obviously everything's worked out really well and I'm just glad we could end the year this way. I am thinking about doing a year in review again and if I do a year in review, I will show you guys all the videos from the tests, the vlogs that I didn't put up. So if you're interested in seeing how the year went completely raw without me hiding the the negatives and the tears, let me know. And um, I'll put in a full year in review with my messy tests and all. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.